In the past 12 months, the most popular van that I filmed, I think, was the Apero Sky Dancer, which is only a prototype. The second most popular one, I think, was the from Bresler Mobile. It's a comparatively small company from Chem, near Chemnitz in eastern Germany, and uh, it was a junior D4 D541 DK. This van here from uh, 58,900 uh, euros. This one is going to cost 68,490. It's on a Fiat Ducato, and let's have a look inside how it works. Right, so uh, what is impressive here, I think, is this. It's, it's the bed up there. And that gives you lots of space. Now it's got a new roof on it, so they took the old one off from uh, Fiat and put a new one to allow that to go up there. This design is not new. Um, it, a friend of mine's got a, a VW, uh, sorry, a Mercedes from 1996, like this, uh, and certainly it was, this design was around in the 1980s, if not earlier. Pretty big bathroom given the uh, size of the man, the size of which I'll get for you as I leave. Dometic uh, fridge. Uh, and uh, there's nothing special about this, is relatively standard. You know, for a small van, I, I, th I think this is a really good layout, this one. Another thing is about, you know, when you've got the um, the bed is down, you can still sit down here. It gives you more head height than you get in many uh, um, cars, for example. <laughs> okay, I, uh, 541 long by 205 wide. Height 312, fresh water 95 uh, uh, litres. That fridge is 80 litre fridge. I could have told you that when I was in there. And the wastewater is 70. Let's have a look at this one. Slightly different. This has got, oh, this is well packed with extras. No, no, 95,700. And it's 591 long, uh, 199 wide. Oh, it's going to the front, in fact. Just to make the point, it's a Mercedes, it's an enormous Fiat Ducato. But uh, other than that, um, you know, it's pretty similar, it's a bit longer. Similar sort of thing, they've got the bed up there, which is great. Same uh, fridge. Mercedes, remember Mercedes. Look how, how much space there is in the um, the bathroom. Of course, it's thanks to the roof being added, which of course is a pretty expensive thing. I mean, just just on the material cost, and bear in mind the labour, which is the most uh, expensive thing, something like this. But on the material cost for a new roof, you're looking around four thousand euros. Somebody will probably say, oh, you can get it cheaper from so-and-so. Right, well, if you can't get it cheaper, do, do let me know where. Okay, this one here is on a Ducato, 76,541 long. And 
Now this company builds to order, alright, so this is what they do, but largely they build to order. They're not doing in series production, they're not doing it uh, so so they're not they don't have sort of spare hand lying around. If you want one, you've got to order it and you've got to wait for them to build it. That's how it works. I've had to change cameras mid-film. What has happened is that the uh, mirrorless camera is overheating. Too many films. So I'm now using my mobile phone. Anyway, so it's only when you like a, a wide angle as the other one has. But it's light. So that's easier for me. Right, so this one he's got a single bear at the back, as you can see. Bear in mind all the time, it's only 541 centimetres in length. I'll have a look in the toilet. And there's my camera. You see, that's the one I was using. But it needs to it needs to cool down. Okay. This one here isn't so exciting because it doesn't have the um, the uh, bed above 85 for 84 and a half thousand 591 in length, 199 width. you've got a much more conventional layout. Obviously it's on the Mercedes, so I didn't say that. How come they've got a bed in the back of a Mercedes Sprinter which goes widthwise? We shall answer that question on departure. I mean, that's a pretty, pretty good toilet for a, uh, a Sprinter. See if this question can be answered round here. And that's how it's done. You see you have to put this thing in here. You add this extra box to it and that increases the internal width. Uh, still, um, you know, if you're any taller than what I am, then this this is not suitable. It's 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 too uh, it's not going to be long enough. But you know, it's uh, always the problem with uh, taller people uh, in finding something suitable. Let's have a quick uh, walk around again.
So at the time of um, speaking, there's been almost half a million views on the, the van, this, this one here in front of me, that I published from here last year. So I'm quite happy with that, actually. That's, that's pretty good. It's a pity it wasn't half a million on all of them. So, whilst I'm here, I'll just show you some of the other vans here. You've got this and uh, another small German uh, converter on the Mercedes uh, 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 Sprinter platform. Camper vans here, summer, summer mobile. Yeah, curler from near Stuttgart. There's uh, Compania from uh, Slovenia, I think. Mega Mobile. Claims to be a five star premium van conversion. Well, you've got West Westphalia which uh, has a very large history, long history behind it. Indeed, there's a sign up claiming it started in what, the middle of the 19th century or something. 75 years? Oh, sorry, no, it's a 175 years. Yes, there you go, 175 years I've been doing van conversions. That's pretty good, isn't it? I presume they were doing, uh, 18, 400 and 1844, I presume they were doing carriages before then. That makes them the second oldest uh, van company because I believe that uh, Weinsberg was founded around 18, 18 or something like that. Oh, and over here we've got uh, Globe Traveler. There's Tourne, which is also from Slovenia. Um, they mainly export, as I understand, uh, to Norway. And here is a CS Reise Mobile camper vans from on the Mercedes uh, um, uh, basis from Hamburg. I got Dreamer from Rapido. Don't think they're particularly good, but anyway, the sun lights down there. And here's Bresla. Okay, so uh, thank you uh, very much for uh, watching. I hope that was of interest. And if you found that of uh, any use, uh, please uh, do consider uh, subscribing. If you, if you get any benefit from what I do, you might want to support me on Patreon. Past 40,000 subscribers yesterday. I thought if every subscriber gave me 10 cents, I would be able uh, to employ somebody else and to actually do a far better job and bring more vans to you and have the financial resources to be able to attend uh, um, uh, more conferences and things of that nature uh, particularly as many of these companies uh, expect me to pay for everything and not, 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 not just in Bresla does but I uh, won't mention any names such as uh, Rapido and Pilot or Chausson for example anyway oh what was that? So many round of applause. So, uh, thanks very much for watching. I hope this was of interest. And uh, see you next time.